Hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. So yeah, in the crypto market, we see a bit of upside today. It's quite good, actually. It's not that much of a boring Saturday and Sunday as, as we uh, normally get it. But to be honest, it's also not super interesting. It's still moving in a tight range. But we see a few breakouts here and there. Um, Polkadot, however, hasn't realized yet that it's... Um, that it's doing something that the crypto market is moving. So it's probably rather enjoying the sunshine on a Sunday outside, not realizing that there's actually some work going on, unfortunately. So yeah, I, co I continue to see this um, as a possible fourth wave correction, which might have topped on the 29th of May to get one more low, but recognize as well that we are in this price channel at the moment. So let's, let's look at the chart. So I see the move up as a wave one. Yeah, of the December low. So that means we could be in a large uptrend. Uh, the ABC structure here basically nearly maxing out what it should do. A break below 485 would not be good for this coin. But as long as it's holding 485, it can rally in the third wave. Okay, if it gets one more low or not, I don't know. You know some things just cannot be predicted. But at the moment, what I can tell you, I have no evidence that it has already bottomed. So all rallies recently were in three waves which indicates that another low should be coming. But if we get an impulse to the upside, especially above resistance, then probably a low is in. It's certainly in its pullback area right now where it should turn around at some point. Um, the recent low that was made was at $5.10 and it can still go down to $4.85. But at the latest, I would like it to see a reaction there. At the moment, it's just in the area and we're just waiting for a reaction to the upside. Can happen at any time. So something that shows the market has actually woken up. For now, we're just moving in this sideways correction in this channel. You can see the price channel here. And you can also see the resistance for the wave four that I indicated in the last few videos between 555, uh, 555 yeah, and 567. So as long as price doesn't go above 567, downside pressure remains. But if the bulls can make it work to rally above that level, then it would indicate that the correction could be over. So this is sort of what I'm watching for. Either one more low or a substantial break above 567 would indicate that the low is already in. Then we also get an overlap with wave one, which is here at 575, that low. And that would also indicate the low is in. And then we would also leave our trend reversal area. And then we can really seriously looking at the third wave. Target wise for the third wave, so that you know it for your re reward to risk calculation. Target wise, we're looking here for target so assuming obviously the wave two ended here on the 13th of may roughly or 12th of may but this can still go a bit lower than i would have to adjust targets a bit but at the moment it points towards 969 so i think it's just waiting for polkadot to wake up as well but i would not rule out one more low certainly but yeah it wouldn't be good if it drops below 485 and check out the trend channel so as long as it's in the channel you get some crazy volatility or not crazy volatility but um, just sort of up and downs you know that sort of just bounce from support to resistance and it may be on the way to resistance again where it could around 560 then bounce again so just waiting here but it certainly has a possible abc structure complete and that indicates that the low could certainly be in but it can always extend a bit until we get a breakout breakout here to the downside would be well, a breakout below the B wave low at 515 would confirm, in my opinion, that we head down to 485. And a break above 567 could send it quite quickly to first 590 and then 622, these resistances, and then higher. Okay, that's my update about DOT. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.